Hi, welcome. It's me again, Coco. So next on the list today is a pina colada. We both never tried a pina colada before and it's like super easy to make. So I don't know. We just wanted to give it a shot this time. We've listed down the ingredients. We don't have a website today because like it's so many different ways you can make it and it's like super simple. I have listed some more footnotes if you want any other tips on it or um, anything we learned from making it. So, but that's about it. Let's begin. Sound of the ocean. It's funny, I always, when I get drinks, it's always a pina colada and a strawberry daiquiri. And I always lean towards the strawberry daiquiri. Strawberry daiquiri. Never gonna leave. I know, I always leave out the pina colada still. I know. I think that's because you don't, like, when you think of pina colada, I just think of coconut. And I've never cared for coconut. Like, because you're thinking about the flakes. Yeah, the flakes are trifling. Yeah. But the cream, that's my first. Yeah. <laughs> But the cream of coconut, this is our first time trying it, so I like it now. Mm. If you've watched Euphoria, there's like in season one, there's a part where um, Kat, she, they're like this, she's a girl, was younger her. It's a TV show that I watch. And she gained a lot of weight from having, she went on vacation with her family and she was like torn up about her weight that she gained from drinking like 48 pina coladas <laughs> virgin pina coladas <laughs> yeah it was actually it was it was quite the <laughs> quite the story on a daily like yeah daily mm -hmm. she would have tons like three four a day yeah but now i see why so i was on facebook mm -hmm. i was scrolling and i noticed uh this woman cleaning the stove right mm -hmm. and it just caught my eye and she said uh she was saying i think she was with her mother and she was saying how this gray thing a pumice can clean your stove and i and i watched the video of the mom just scrubbing the oven door mm -hmm. and you know i'm skeptical so i'm like is that really what it's called mm -hmm. so i'm like looking so i watched her clean the oven door i'm like she scrubbed it and then she wiped it down. And all you need is water. And so I'm like, okay. Wow, that really works. 
And what really caught, grabbed my attention is she said, oh, you can get this at Walmart. I'm like, okay, Walmart, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, at Walmart one day, I'm shopping, going down the aisle, and I forgot about it. Then I like was looking at stuff, and then I seen, I'm like, as she actually said, it was like a buck and some change. I'm like, there it is, the buckets and change. So I was like, I'm gonna get this. So she's she, not a liar. Right. <laughs> so I purchased it and, you know, brought it home and forgot about it for a minute. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna clean the oven. Mm -hmm. So I decided to use it. I took it out, wet it, so I can get some water, no chemicals. Mm -hmm. And um, I started scrubbing the oven door. But like, I'm like, <laughs> like, <laughs> what are the scratches on this? I'm like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I scrubbed it and I wiped it down with a cloth. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and it was all shiny. I'm like, all that like hard baked old stuff came off. I'm like, mm. yeah, your jaw is that floor. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> The scoring stick. It's a pumice stick. Oh, it's called, it's not even called pumice, it's called pummy. A pummy. Pummy. Yes. Scoring stick. Okay. Non toxic, does not contain any harsh detergents or chemicals. And you just clean with it. Kitchen, bath, workshop, outdoors. I'm like, wow. It says you can clean your grill with it too. Yeah. I would like to try that because you know, cleaning a grill, oh my gosh. I know we had it. Yeah. <laughs> it's I think it would though. I think it will clean that grill up. I'm assuming because it's a, it's the same thing. All that like burnt cooked baked stuff after a while. The only thing is it's loud a little bit. Oh, it is? <laughs> kind of like how it sounds when you're scrubbing your foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Safe space. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice though. I love finding stuff like that that's cheap and like that actually works um, for like a dollar. Cause I remember I was telling you how going to Dollar Tree, first of all, what is it a dollar? Now it's called a dollar 25 or something like that. <laughs> yeah, cause it's no longer a dollar store. But oh my gosh, I could spend all day and forever in a Dollar Tree. And I bet you they got that, that pummy stone there. We haven't been inside one in a minute, but I bet you they got it there. Mm -hmm. If you look like in the little cleaning area. But they have a bunch of hidden gems. You can find some good cleaning agents for like on the low. I know, I, I remember we used to go in there a lot. I remember I love little buckets that you find in there. Yeah. It's like little stuff that like, wow, you can't find in like Any the store. bigger stores. Yeah. yeah, we need to go there soon. That's my store. But just not just that, even um, the awesome, the cleaning spray. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. This that, that little yellow bottle you'll find in the store, and it cleans up like so many things. I think even on their like TMI, but I think it cleans up like blood and stuff. So not trying to give anybody no ideas, mm. but it cleans up <laughs> blood stains. And that's not an easy task. So it's like, I want to, yeah, we need to get some more awesome too. So that's cool. I'm glad you tested it out though before you know recommending it. Yeah. Um, because it would be like you know, what did you say in the movie The Jerk? What did he do? <laughs> <laughs> Image in these glasses and made everybody cross-eyed after a while wearing them. <laughs> you know that it came on Sat last Saturday. It came on. Oh, it did. Yeah, it did. Oh. But I yeah. wish I would have watched it with you. Um, that was crazy. You look so pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. I was scared that not adding a lot of the recipes calls for like specifically four ice cubes and I was afraid that it wasn't going to be enough so I added some more but like how many more yeah, I don't know how many more <laughs> probably about like three times the amount but I can imagine just making this with only a couple ice cubes because I feel like it's supposed to be a little bit thicker mm -hmm. slushy. yeah because if you were well not slushy but if you were supposed to just make it it would be more like liquidy you know what I've been, I've been enjoying. I love trying out different accents, and mm, Lord. <laughs> I don't know. 
I think she thinks that I'm crazy, but I know you probably do it too. I, I go along with you though. Yeah, so you do. I'm guilty of it. I know, right? <laughs> but you, you're more dramatic with it. But I love one of my take, favorites. Get out of hand with it. Oh, what? Get out of hand? Yeah. No, I don't. Because it's your accent that you go, it goes from one to I, another. I don't. I, I, <laughs> I don't. I don't think a down under. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like, yeah. And we're, yeah. Oh! Ah! Go, oh! <laughs> oh! We're the riches. And you go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm helping you. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like, a, that sounds like an animal. <laughs> Yeah, you just go, and eh, it's more and, eh, so you go down and now. Nah, and nah. eh, you go down and now. Nah. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you still try to make it as an animal noise. Just go down and now. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> wait, wait. Down nah, and nah, now. Nah. No, it's the baby. Oh, fresh off the ba baby. Yeah. Fresh off the baby. Fresh off the baby. No. No, no, you're not no, a good coach no, right I now. am, I am though, because <laughs> you're going down. You think about it, it's down under, you're going down. And then you go, ah, ah, for British. It's more of an up thing, isn't it? Do not, not all of them have high voices. You can talk British and talk like this. I know, but it's more of an uplifting, it's more of a, it's an upward. You sound like Julia Childs when you bring okay, it up that high. So I don't, I don't, I don't need to sound like Julia Childs, but. Mm. <laughs> you, you don't even know what that means. Just stop yeah. talking. <laughs> no. Because you are upset about school. <sighs> On something that I take. Okay. Anyways, um, back to what I was saying though. I think we've always done it. Like when you watch a movie and they have accents consistently throughout it, you start picking it up. And so you start talking like them. And when the movie's over. Yep, you yeah. still talk like them. So <laughs> I know that we were watching the TV show on Netflix. Um, I think it started off like on ABC, but then Netflix picked it up. And it's called The Glitch. And um, they have like a really strong, like I feel like specific Australian accent. I'd have to do research to see like meet, like words from like region wise. But it's like, it's, it's really... I can't even do it right now. It's it's really specific. It sounds more like that. They speak a certain way. They say like you're, they're from uh, they're from Yorana. They're from Yorana, and I think I like to carry that on. So if I start talking like that in public, I'm gonna start telling people that I'm from Yorana, Victoria. I think that's where it's at. Yeah, Yorana, Victoria, because it's not a real place. But who's gonna correct me? <laughs> Someone who's from Australia. And that very day, you're going to meet a person who's from Australia. Yeah, this is going to be the day that they're just like, I'm going to tell them, yeah, I'm from Yorana, Victoria. And they'll be like, oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wait, who's crazy here? Right. Yeah. <laughs> we both can't be from a place that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> that and um, British accents. British accents are a lot easier. Yeah. Australian are more complicated, obviously. Because I'll be convinced sometimes that I can talk British. You? Oh yeah. Sometimes. This is a lot more easier. Ooh, was that Australian? <laughs> <laughs> no. So what type of English? Mm -mm. I go. Mm -mm. No, no, I got it. I got it. Um, what I do is I go down and I I travel down to the store with um my doggy and. I put him in my backpack and he goes, yip, yip. <laughs> you know what helped if you was actually listen, watch something. Yeah, when they're that, British. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Speaking of that, you know, Bridgerton comes on, I think next week. 
Really? Yeah, next week. It is quite the... Next Friday. Scandal. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited because we really enjoyed the first one. Um, we really liked the first one. The first one, you know, it's funny because it took... Uh, wait, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go mm -hmm. ahead. You have to... You, yeah, you like the first one, and then I was so against it because I don't think I have like a real passion for period pieces. And, um, but then looking back on it, like I just sound stupid sometimes because, yes, I do. I love certain movies that like take place back in the day like that. And we normally like the same thing. Yeah. Oh, we usually always like the same thing. I and I was trying to, like, come on, watch. <sighs> I know. I was hesitant. Just because I just felt like it was like corny or cheesy or just like, I don't know. I'm not, sometimes I'm not into horse and, look, I was about to say horse and buggy. That's a lot of prairie. <laughs> horse and carriage and like all that stuff. But um, it was really good. Turned out being really good and um, really liked the, the storyline. It was so cute. You Sometimes you just need a refreshing show like that. But I'm curious as to how they're going to do it this season because um, Lady Whistledown, she's no longer a secret. Like, they, the audience knows who she is. Right. But I'm like, she's still a secret to them. Yeah, so I'm curious as to how they're gonna do that. I don't know. Like, without the show, and make it still interesting. Because the whole thing that was part of the mystery was we didn't know who Lady Whistledown was. But she knew all the gossip. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> Mom, I think mine's higher than yours. <laughs> You're going higher than mine. You got frothy stuff on top. <laughs> not really. Suck it down a little bit. Let's see. No, it's not. <laughs> Suck <it. laughs> All right. Anyways, <laughs> we reached the bottom of our glass. Yes, we have. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Until the next class. Bye. <laughs>